I thought you were supposed to be in Midgand. How did you end up here in Isleand? I thought I'd gotten used to you performing the impossible, but this time, I'm at a loss for words. We heard from the Bloodwings that the Abbey might have taken you guys out. Not this time, but our luck won't last forever. Think of this as a dry run for when I really kick the bucket. Aye, aye, first mate. More importantly, are you sure it's okay to bring an exorcist aboard? I've got my eye on her. If she does anything funny, I'll handle it. Got it. We'll be on our guard too. So you guys made it. Whatever happened to that sword breaker? He's been dealt with. What are you doing here? After everything you said to me, I had a change of heart. I quit banditry. Thank you. I'm glad you listened to reason. What do you plan on doing from here on out? I'm heading to the capital. I plan on opening a restaurant for bandit cuisine. Bandit cuisine? Yeah. You get your hands on all sorts of food as a bandit. You got to use what you have and still make a tasty meal, like a wild mushroom omelet minus the eggs, or highwayman stew. It's like a hunter stew, but you know, made by bandits. That sounds somewhat improper, actually. But I'd still love to visit after you open. Really? All right. I'll be an upright citizen in no time. <laughs> Maybe even the kind of man you'd consider spending some time with. I'm rooting for you. Hey, were you actually listening to him? Of course I was. It's wonderful he's turned over a new leaf. Say, say, say! Say! Why did they just? There you go. Did you need something? No, not really. As you say. Why aren't you training with two swords? This is how I've always trained. Ten thousand practice swings a day since I was a kid. I just wanted a single good swipe at Shigure, so I swung and swung, and eventually just naturally got to this point. That's incredible. Not really. I need to be prepared to face Shigure at any moment. But I've been thinking I should up it to a hundred thousand swings. A hundred thousand? Do you have any idea how much time that'll take? No. Nah. Even if you did one swing a second, you couldn't do that many in one day. Oh, but ten swings a second would do the trick. Rokuro. Even still, I know it would take more than a hundred thousand swings to be a match for Shigure. Not with one sword or with two. And you keep doing it despite knowing it's pointless. That seems a little odd. I'm trying to defeat an undefeatable adversary. The whole damned idea is daft, as you put it. All I can do is recognize the fact and give it my best shot. Well, that's one way of looking at it. If only I could figure out how to stay up all night and still feel rested. Now there's a challenge I can't beat. You need to go to bed. A lack of sleep will get you killed faster than a lack of practice. <laughs> You're right. I'll do that. Well, that was another thing. Why do I heal? Hey, you there. That's one impressive sword you got. You know a lot about swords? I'm a novice swordsmith. Been at it for 20 years. Now, I'm finally able to make a blade worthy of the name. 20 years? And still just a novice? It's a competitive world out there for a swordsmith. Especially here on this island. But I heard many swordsmiths have given up. There's less ore around nowadays, and swords don't work against the demons. True, swords are useless against demons. Unless it's an exorcist that's using them. Kednick's weaponry has always been prized in Midgant. The Abbey recognized our talents, and now, business is booming. All the smiths here are grateful to the Abbey. They're keeping all of us alive and fed. Look at this article. 
I gotta say, you guys look less like pirates and more like a circus troop. Are you all right with having demons on board, Benwick? Not remotely an issue. If you're aboard this ship of misfits, you're a pirate. That's just our creed. At least, that's what the captain and the first mate always say. Speaking of the captain, what's Eifried like? Hmm, let's see. How do I put it? He's like if the sea were a person, and that person had a pointy beard. Huh. Uh, a bearded sea? Look, everybody on this ship is an outcast from society in some way. Despite that, Captain Eifried accepted us for who we are, and took us all on board. So he's... a kind man. Well, would you say that the sea is kind? How would it feel to dive in with an open wound? It would sting. A lot. Quite so. Some days he's calm and steady, and others he rages. He can be shallow, deep, even a whirlpool. He's not Poseidon. Sounds like he's a little scary and hard to read. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to serve him. But that air of mystery keeps us around and makes us want to take those jumps. At the end of the day, the dread pirate Van Eifried is one hell of a guy. He sounds like Velvet in a lot of ways. Wait, what? How so? Uh, I didn't describe him right at all, did I? Hmm. Benwick, we're changing course at once for Port Renied. Sir? What's going on? Three of our men have collapsed from the Corsair Scourge. They first showed symptoms three days ago. How are you holding up? I'm still doing all right. But if this really started three days ago, that means we're all carrying it, doesn't it? You know what? That's what I'm afraid of. But if we head straight to Port Renied, we should be able to get medicine there. I'll check on everyone's condition. Make sure everyone stays hydrated, including yourself, understand? Sir, yes sir. All hands, assume emergency positions. The crew's holding up well for a bunch of folks at death's door. What do you mean? Is this Corsair scourge fatal? Quite. No one knows what causes it, but it starts with a high fever and ends up with the body falling apart like sand. Like sand? Once, there was a great band of pirates who ruled the seas, but the disease spread through their ships and killed every one of them. That's why it's called the Corsair Scourge. Does that mean we've been infected as well? You humans, for sure. Only humans fall prey to the Corsair Scourge. Then what about you? you too. Right, Moggy Lou? Oh, right. <gasps> Alas, that my glorious saga should meet such an ignominious end. I can't allow our vessel to die from this. If you start to feel ill, speak up. I will. All right. We'll all be helping out in the search. Everyone but Eleanor, that is. Huh? Oh, why does she get to stay? I might be dying too, you know. You're a witch. Magic yourself healthy. Now quit whining and get going. Oh, not even a witch is safe from the ravages of the Reaper's Curse. The Reaper's Curse? Oh, come on! Although I don't like the sound of this soundtrack. Okay, where's the herbalist? If I remember right, the Corsair's Scourge needs a particularly special medicine. Yeah, it's a wildflower called Salatoma. Its juice can cure the Corsair's Scourge. Well, doesn't sound too tricky. Let's not relax until we have it in hand. Right. Now let's get going. Hold on a minute. Won't you just be spreading the disease if everyone wanders into town? Surprisingly, no. For whatever reason, you can only catch it over the ocean waves. It's speculated it might have something to do with the salt in the air. Or maybe the microbes in the seawater. Nobody knows the cause for sure, but there are no recorded cases of people catching it on land. I see. A strange affliction indeed. We'll be back soon. You all remain on the ship. All right. Good luck out there, sir. 
We've got to hurry. Salatoma, is this really going to be necessary? What do you mean, Eleanor? Oh, nothing. It's just, well, the herb is known to work well for fevers and the like, but it tastes bad. So bad. Some say it would even bring a demon to the brink of tears. Maybe so. But better to drink it than to die, right? Oh, she I has a point. Mind. It it just reminded me of stories from my childhood is all. The map's getting filled in little by little. There's still a long way to go. It's a big world out there. Yeah, that's true. And a lot can happen on the waves. The far seas are unexplored territory for a reason. I'd imagine so. The seasons and the weather can change the sea completely. Oh. Do I sense a budding interest in the sea? Think you're feeling less apathetic about it now? I wouldn't say that. I was just reminded of something someone once said to me. And then let's keep... That Rokuro, always telling all of us except Eleanor to work harder. Doesn't he realize that I'm a delicate maiden too? This no. This is workplace discrimination. I should put him on a witch trial and burn him at the stake. No, so I don't think that's how witch trials work. <laughs> What's wrong, Eleanor? You look like you've got something on your mind. I'm just trying to figure out what Rokuro was thinking. When I had Lord Shigure at the end of my spear... Rokuro threw his dagger right at my head. I thought I was dead for sure. I feel like I saw who he truly was, and it frightens me. But he and Lord Shigure are always trying to kill each other. I can't understand why he did what he did. It might have something to do with his Bushido code. What's Bushido? Is that like a sword fighter's code? It's a way of thinking. Be loyal to your lord. Respect your parents. Protect the weak and act with honor. You're saying that he was following this Bushido code, and he was protecting me because I was weak? He might have turned into a demon, but his memories and personality are still intact. I doubt his moral values have disappeared either. Do you really think he believes in that Bushido stuff? Carving through his enemies with a cruel and unsparing sword! Slash! Pow! Shazam! That's the true nature of a Rangetsu man! I heard that when Velvet first met him, he immediately attacked her without any provocation. I'm sure you haven't already forgotten how he turned his swords on the kid in that fight against Kurogane. I wouldn't read too much into what Magilu's saying. Rokuro lives for his sword, and that's just who he is. But I don't think he's all that bad. I thought you were the one who called him frightening. I know I said he can be a scary person, but... How do I put it? I do feel there's more to him than just wanting to cut people up. It's like... He's more sensitive to other people's emotions than he might seem to be at first glance. A sword fighter has to sense his opponents on some level, right? For a crazed demon, he's actually a nice guy. Is that it? Maybe. I don't know. It's not like I know him well enough to claim any deep personal insight or anything. You brought it up. How many times are you gonna see this? Well, that was a thing. Okay, no more skits, I see. Oh, hey, cat. I guess he doesn't have anything for me. A bit ago, a manacled body got caught in my nets. Manacled? A prisoner? You too? Yesterday, my nets pulled up an arm. Manacles, even a brand on that one. I really can't take this anymore. I'm losing my appetite, and it's bad for my heart. You said it. Judging by the tides, they would have to have come from that prison island. Is it really just a prison? You think it's strange, too? I've suspected something about that place for a while now. They say the whole island is a prison. But if you ask me, I bet it's just an execution ground. Or... It's for experimenting on demons. Experimenting? What do you mean? Testing the demons' capabilities. That's why they need prisoners. Food for the monsters. Not a bad theory. <laughs> Just kidding! 
There's no way the Abbey would do something that horrible, right? <laughs> <laughs> you sure think of some crazy ideas. I bet all of this is the work of some vicious pirate gang. Yeah, something like that. That guy, he's pretty sharp. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen any patrol ships around there recently. Used to be they'd chase you off if you got too close. You know, you're right. If there are pirates about, it'll mean trouble unless the Abbey tightens up their patrols. The best we can do is keep a wide berth of it for now. We wouldn't want pirates and demons sneaking up on us. I think we'd notice if pirates or demons were around. No way they'd catch us unawares. I can't tell if he's sharp or dull as a brick. That's an interesting bridge. This bridge has a bit of history to it. Port Renied was originally built here on this inlet. The water's deep enough for ships, but as you can see, it's a bit too narrow for a port. Large ships couldn't come close without a top-rate crew. So Port Renied was used almost exclusively by smaller ships. What about the Von Eltia? We're the best of the best. We came and went as we pleased. So your point is you wanted to brag? Hey, let me finish. The people wanted their town to grow, so they built an outer harbor for large ships and this bridge to connect to it. Uh-huh. So that's why the port and the town are separate. But there's more. We secretly helped provide the funds and resources for them to build it. So you are bragging. And did this bridge bring prosperity to Port Renied? No. The Abbey began regulating shipping and travel right about the time the town finished building the outer port. If only the seas had remained free, Port Renied would have developed into a center for commerce and trade. I suppose things don't always go as planned. Then again, even if Port Renied became a bustling port, we still would have no trouble slipping in or out. I'm not biting this time. When I was in Port Zexen, I heard that a swarm of demons attacked the palace and killed the high priest. No way! Isn't the palace the most heavily guarded place in the world? How did the exorcist let that happen? Hmm, bad news really does travel fast. They say that the demons were disguised as humans, but were actually enormous monsters twice the size of any man. They had razor-sharp horns and three burning eyes. They could take over your mind just by glaring at you. If the demons were that terrible, no wonder the exorcist couldn't deal with them. Some rumors say they escaped. Some say a legate took them down in a climactic battle. But no one knows the truth. We should be ready to run in case they show up. Is the world falling apart? Will the bad times return again? A horned giant with three eyes, huh? Velvet, you're one scary lady. They said swarm, so they were talking about you, too. What is this? Oh, shit. Okay. There's a training? There's a card game in this? Oh, hello! Um, I have no idea. I have no idea how to play.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, so I ha this is a matching game? Oh, come on! How did he win? Wait, how did I... I really don't know how to play this.
I gonna come back for you, kid, and beat your ass. <laughs> 